but okay, three days later at least I hope as many here were saved as possible, but I'm sad about Trip. I really wish Trip didn't have to die. Trip. Uh, one more photo to place on the wall. Forever in our hearts, be strong. Our love is forever. Loads of pictures. And we place one more of him. There's that guy too. May you rest in peace. In a lot happier times. It was his own fault. If you regret helping me, if you're feeling any guilt, bury it. I mean it. I guess Don't we gotta move you up on. Inside. We need to move on. Move forward. We do. And we will. I do still feel guilt, though, but... Not much otherwise that can be done than try to be moving forward, yes, but... Yeah. But I guess it was like either David would be dying Usually or... Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Hmm. Still, though, I feel more calm here than... than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. Hmm. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. If you say so. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. It's too soon, though, right now. I don't know, Kate. I, after everything that just happened... It all feels so soon. Maybe someday. But... Not right now. I'm sure you're gonna understand, okay. right? Maybe someday. Yeah. But don't think I'm forgetting about this one, Garcia. Okay. We'll be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime. <sighs> Goodbye, David, I guess, then. I don't know. I, I still wanted to help Richmond, and I thought that Clementine would be fine in that, so... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what kind of a government they would be thinking about doing now, but yeah. Hello, Jesus. Head now? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Okay, good thing. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I like you, Jesus. You're a good guy. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. Yep. You're a real charmer. You know that? Through and through. So they say. Oh, you know what they say. Takes one to know one. <laughs> that they do. I don't meet a lot of people like you, Javi. Someone genuinely good. It was my pleasure. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Yeah. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Yeah. Always. Good days, and especially bad. I'll do it. I'll do it. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. All For right. the better. God knows this town could use it. I think that we are going to be doing something like that. It's good for a game to be with people, too. You know what? I'm going to step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? 
Hey, uh, Gabe. Ah, uh, Gabe. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed and for coming back to help us. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. Goodbye. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I was I have thinking to find AJ so. Javi. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've I know. It's so long. I know. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? We owe you a truck. That's at least case. <laughs> now we should have cars here, I think. So, we owe you a truck. What else? Is a good question. Thanks, Melissa. I used to do this for my niece. That's <laughs> nice of you. Got in the she hair, I was okay. terrible at it. Were you? Not your business. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss Gabe. Mm. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. Well, you can at miss least it. To have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. Dude's got a crush on you. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a mondo crush on you, right? <sighs> he does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. Well, you both have my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab <laughs> you with those scissors. Uh. I have to see AJ Javi. I know, I, I know. I have to see that he's okay. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. Do you think he remembers me? I'm sure he does. At least a little? Maybe? Who could forget you? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. He's young, of course, but he did say your name. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. Now you are young to be the like only mother. I was a good mom or not. Well, you had to survive. I can't stop thinking about it. You tried your I best, really regardless. Wish I could. It's not about good or not good. You kept him alive. You did your job. You did your best. Until someone else had to do it for me. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you Loss really gives loved you strength. It, how? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. Yeah, if. If indeed. All done. Well, how's it look? I think it's good. All things considering. You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? Of course, absolutely. Bring him back. You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. I do still think so. Bring him back. You don't have to go and check out how things are. If you think that he's better off there, then okay, leave him there. But like, I I think that otherwise, yeah. I'm surprised how many of us are alive, to be honest. Yay.
I hope you find a chain. Bye bye. Surprisingly happy ending in the end. Surprisingly happy. Very much indeed surprisingly happy. Episode 5 from the gallows. Your experience with David was heartfelt. You accepted David's hand after he punched you on the night your father died. You supported David's plan to meet at his house in Richmond. In his time of need, you dista distanced yourself from David. Gabe had to brain his own father after David turned, but I don't know. <sighs> In his time of need. Mm. Your experience with Gate was mixed signals. You were relieved to see Gate alive in the junkyard. You rejected Gate's plan to leave Richmond. You told you wanted a future with her, but you dismissed Gate's idea to start a family. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> well, it's just a little bit too much, but protective with Gabe apparently. Uh, you made Gabe happy by agreeing to stay in the trailer for the night, you hit the truth about Gabe's neighborhood friend, and you helped Gabe save Richmond before going after Gabe. But still protective even though we helped save helped Gabe save Richmond before going after Gabe. Well, I thought because, because I trusted Clementine, so... <laughs> Trip is dead, Eleanor is alive. Trip, you reassured Trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott. Then you went behind Trip's back to get to the junkyard sooner. Well, I did it because of the fact that I thought that uh, the importance was the family. Uh, in the end, Trip saved your life on the overpass despite you not choosing him to be saved. You took Eleanor on an offer to sneak away on horses to the junkyard. The Eleanor leaked your plan to incite resistance against John. But you forgave Eleanor for betraying you to John. Yes. Aval and Lingard and everyone is dead. Clementine declined Ava's offer to meet with the new frontier. The Ava helped you get into the armor because you showed solidarity with David. Okay. Hmm. Finally, you picked Ava to live, but John sought her to teach you a lesson. And Lingard. Clementine ignored Lingard's medical advice regarding H.A. Then you gave Lingard a lethal injection. And Lingard told you H.A.'s location shortly before dying. Maybe if he would have been able to keep him alive, he could have told that anyways later on, but who knows. I, I kind of know. Ah, uh, Conrad, I'm sorry. You... Coached Francine through Conrad's poker game. Then, when Gabe threatened Conrad, you convinced your nephew to lower his gun. Later, you shot Conrad in the tunnel after he threatened Gabe's life. Yep. Jesus, when you met him, you trusted Jesus and didn't bind his hands. Then, you promised Jesus to always do the right thing in helping Richmond survive. Lastly, you promised Jesus you would help lead Richmond. Yes, I hope it will go well. Sean is missing though. Sean is then alive apparently. You kept your mouth shut when Sean baited you about Mariana's death. Then your plan to expose Sean failed. Currently Sean's whereabouts are unknown, so that will certainly be continued with. Clint kicked you out of Richmond for stealing gas. Then you took Clint's deal and spared Sean's life. Finally, David shot Clint on stage after you agreed to Clint steal, which was completely stupid. Why shoot Clint? <laughs> he could have shot Sean. She was the one that was a bad apple, so to speak. Did you stand with David on the leads? Most did step up to help David. What did you say to David about Gate? Twenty-eight point eight percent of players came clean about your relationship with Gate. Fifty-one point four percent of players confessed your love for Gate. Seventeen point six 
denied having a relationship with Kate, but David didn't believe you. 2.2% of players said nothing. <sighs> well, there wasn't completely a relationship, but like, it was a long time that we were on the road, and yeah. Did you fight David back? Yeah, bigger person just didn't. Showed your love for David even as he took his anger out on you. Did you go after Gabe or with Gate? 61.5% of players went with Gate and sealed the Richmond Bridge. And that was almost all the choices. After the fight with David, Glenn I followed her own plan, splitting up with you and 54.2% of the players. Did Clementine come alone with you? But yeah, I, I think that she needed to. She needs her own closure. And I want to know how AJ is too, so yeah. Well, that was our choices then. Your Clementine became a renewed soul. Okay. Clementine and AJ thought they had finally found a home at Host Hardware. But when a tortured chain made a difficult decision, everything changed. Leaving Chain's dead body behind, Clementine and H.A. were on their own. After circumstances forced her to join the new frontier, Clem didn't hesitate to use their resources for her own ends, leading to exile and a tearful farewell. When Chavi and David fought at the water tower, Clem remembered a similar fight long ago at the snow-covered rest stop. <sighs> Chavi and David... She took a carefully placed shot to stop David's violence without killing him. That's nice. <laughs> In a sense. So if we wouldn't have shot Kenny before, but would have shot, uh, like, let him kill Jane, then maybe she wouldn't have taken a shot? That would be interesting to know. I would have to check that out if... Someone who has had the different story is going to have that a little bit different then. Once David left in the truck with Gabe, Clementine knew that the best course of action was to go it alone, leave Chavis' side and help the person he didn't choose. Okay, renewed soul, whatever the, that will be meaning in the end. Who knows? Oh, there's, there's Clementine. As long as you will be okay, I'm happy. But you should be able to do it. Okay, so is there still knowledge how HA will be? I certainly hope he's going to be okay. That is kind of loud, but I hope you're gonna, gonna find you, AJ. I certainly hope so. Clementine's story will continue in the future. But now, let's go get some other game. No. Thank you, but no. I actually do hate it that it has to be advertised in another game, like right there. I do hate that, but okay, well, we finished uh, this game now, and I like the ending episodes more than I enjoyed the start of the game for a certainty. And I started to like them well enough, I'm very surprised in all reality indeed that they were, like, all alive in the end here. Very much, like, well, not all, but like, <laughs> Mariana died. And his brother died, but Gabe is alive, Gate is alive, and all that, so yeah, it's very surprising. I don't know, should I have gone there with my brother? Well, <sighs> I said I did take my stand that I wanted to help Richmond, so that was in the end my choice, so. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I did definitely en enjoy the end. For this way more than I enjoyed the starting episode, so yeah, definitely, definitely did enjoy way more. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will be continuing with Clementine's story whenever that will be continuing once again. Even if the start of this was definitely a disappointment for me, but the end, the end did, did start to be getting a lot better nonetheless. And we actually are mostly alive. <laughs> Most of this group is alive. So yeah, surprising, surprising. I liked it. I didn't like it. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. And thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time with more Walking Dead, whenever that will be. And otherwise, some other games. So, see you then. Bye-bye.